Hello! Something you might know about me is I like books! Books, books, fucking books. Um, that's a child's book, because I have the brain of a child. Um, but I usually like books with pictures. These have all got words in them. That's got some pictures, but they're mostly words. I prefer books with pictures, um, which you probably know, because that's all I do. Is I draw pictures and I talk about art books. That's all you do, Ewan. You draw and you talk about art books and you draw and you talk about art books. You fucking fat, dumb idiot. Why don't you shut up and find some new hobbies? Well, I won't. Um, one particular type of book I like, um, which is quite a, not really a rare kind of book, but um, it's something I, I notice in every sort of film and show, whenever they have... Um, uh, usually a weirdo, a weird character, a psycho character, um, and that character has like a journal or or like a, a, a manifesto or a scrapbook or something uh, where they keep all their, their thoughts and ideas and they stick pictures in there and they write, write a bunch of shit. Um, there's a, a few come to mind immediately. There's, um, there's, there's a certain one. There was one in the, the Hannibal show which I think was also in the, the Red Dragon film, but redone for the Hannibal show. That was quite good. There was one in Joker. Joker's little journal slash joke book he had, where he had all his notes and also pictures of porno mags and stuff. Um, American Psycho had quite a classic one, where she flips through it at the end with all of his insane drawings of women being murdered in horrible, horrible ways. Um, and that was parodied, 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 parodied in Spaced, the show, um, with a sketchbook full of drawings. That was quite a good one, too. Um, and the Evil Dead. How can you forget the Evil Dead? The fucking Necronomicon from the Evil Dead. And there's shitloads more in all kinds of uh, shows and films. Um, the, the thing I really like is that those books exist out in the world like they had to be made for the film so I assume they got they hired an artist or an art department or somebody to sit there and fucking put these books together we can glue in and taping and stitching and binding book binding and making the covers and staining pages and burning shit and painting and drawing writing all the notes and things like that's so cool that that that's a thing that happens they hire somebody to make these fucking books and then these books exist like if I had if I was what we say a millionaire an average sort of millionaire not I don't probably need to be a multi-millionaire for it but I could probably afford it if I was like an average millionaire I'd I'd collect all of these fucking books because that'd be such a cool goddamn fucking collection to have. oh I think there's one in Mean Girls as well <laughs> I think Mean Girls has a book like that uh, <laughs> if I recall correctly, um, which is just really fucking good. I love that shit. It's cool. It's physical made, but yeah, whatever. Um, there's also one in Human Centipede Two, second Human Centipede film. You know, it's disgusting. It's filthy, awful, horrible, vile, wretched, putrid. Uh, Horrible film, but it's pretty funny. I like it. Uh, I have a friend who's also uh, f f fucking horrible <laughs> and rancid and disgusting. Um, very, very special person to me. And they, uh, they also like this film very much. So, as a gift to them, I made this. Which is uh, like a replica, kind of, 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 of the scrapbook. He has the character Martin in uh, Human Centipede 2. See, in the film of Human Centipede 2, it's a bit meta, yeah. The the film of... Uh, or Human Centipede 1 is a film, is a fictional film that exists in the world of Human Centipede 2, which the main character watch and and uh, becomes obsessed with, and he puts this scrapbook together <coughs> full of uh, notes and studies based on the film. Uh, that's uh, a poster of the film. Um, photos of the actresses that performed in the film. And then, obviously, notes on uh, the surgery and how to perform that, because 
he he uh, has has designs and ideas leading towards creating his own human centipede. Um, so he's got this book. It's it's not a perfect recreation. I put it together within a few days, maybe three or four days, in amongst other projects, just as a gift for my friend to show them that they're appreciated and because uh, it's a cool thing to do. It's making making a cool book. So it, it, none of it is an exact recreation. It's just sort of like an impressionistic approximate recreation of the book just so it feels like you're holding that kind of book this is at half the size at least of the actual book the actual one's quite quite big in the uh, in the film 100% medically accurate as it says in the film i've tried to i uh, i took loads of screenshots and followed the movie and tried to sort of estimate where pages were and there's certain things like i couldn't quite make out what this image was in the film because you see it at a bit of a weird angle so I tried to just sort of guess and put what it could have been I don't think it was this but and some of the words I sort of you can make out bits of the words in the film so I just sort of tried to guess and approximate what might have gone the sort of thing that might have been there um, I think I've got some of the pages out of order and I maybe might have missed out one or two here or there but for the most part it's all there there's a photo of a centipede and all the photos um in the film he's got actual photos he's obviously printed off and put in his disgusting book um i've painted them all this is just with acrylics fairly uh painterly quite blobby paints again quite impressionistic just to give you know enough idea you can see what that is centipede centipede the human centipede, noting that it's the first sight of Dr. Hyde's success in the film. Um, a new creature. So you get it gives you the, the idea and the feel of this scrapbook. And this is where he's collecting uh, photos of the cast at film festivals. Um, I, I purposely didn't want to do them too, too detailed. I didn't want them to be exact copies. Of the photos but I have tried to approximate and get them fairly close so you can sort of tell what's going on um, and I wanted them to be kind of blurry so it's nothing too exact it's just because this isn't the sort of book you're supposed to fucking pour over and look at in detail you just flip through it and see you know these photos that this creep has collected as he strokes them and licks his fingers and masturbates with sandpaper around his dick and this is where we get into his studies. Again, I've just sort of kind of guessed bits and pieces. I think that's supposed to be a knee, but I moved the knee to here because I wasn't sure what was supposed to be on this page. So I sort of, you know, moved things around, but kept them more or less as they as they sort of appear in the film. Um, I, I worry that some parts of this I've even made too neat. I've tried to sort of emulate where he's crossed stuff out and put arrows and things. And these are his drawings studying the uh, the original film Siamese triplets and is working out that he, he doesn't just want a, a three-person uh, human centipede. He wants many, A, B, C, and D, and E, etc. He wants many, many, maybe as many as 12. Um... And then these were just, so I think most of this is done beforehand. And then these are some of the drawings you actually watch him do some of them during the film. So they're not quite as uh, uh, finished, as polished or as detailed. Um, and that's about all you see in the film. And then this, this is supposed to represent cum. Big, nasty, lots of cum. Because he, you know, he's filthy and he masturbates to these horrible thoughts with sandpaper around his... Oh, watch out for the barbed wire later on in the movie. Um, and even in the film, the book isn't that full. You can see they've obviously gotten a bigger book and taken loads of pages out and then, you know, put a load of pages together. But overall, I'm happy with this. I think it's a nice, a pretty nice, decent kind of recreation. And I think this is, is for a first try of, like, trying to really recreate those sorts of things you see in those sorts of films i'm pretty happy with this and uh it makes me think it could be cool to try and do more of those like i'd like to give a, a have a go at doing the it might be a bit obvious a bit cliche but to do the joker's journal um because then painting like those 
sort of cut out photos of porn mags he's got in there and then drawing all the notes and doodles in there could be quite a fun one and then sort of like there's a bunch of pages you can find online that i could copy and then i could sort of estimate and make up the other pages um but yeah i think i'd really like to have a go at just sort of recreating books from movies and then have like a collection of books from movies i think that would be quite cool just an idea anyway that was a thing hope you enjoyed it